This video is brought to you by Design to Flutter, the platform that improves your Flutter coding skills by building real projects. So Flutter 2.0 updates were great having big companies such as Google, Toyota, and Canonical. However, these are top level updates for executive decisions in companies whether to use Flutter as a framework. However, what are the updates for us developers at the forefront of the Flutter code that we should know? Therefore, I'm going to show you three things in the new Flutter 2.0 updates that you should know. Delayed keyword, detecting large images, and custom type depth. So let's get started with the first one, which is the late keyword. So I have with me here a simple project that you can do yourself in the Design to Flutter challenge, link in the description. And this is a simple animation where it just bobs up and down. To create a simple explicit animation, you will need two things, which is the animation controller and the animation object itself. Then you will use this init state in order for you to initialize your animation controller with the different configurations. At the same time, the animation to a twin object with also its own configuration. Therefore, before null safety, this is a normal thing for you to do in order for you to create an explicit animation. Now, with null safety, you are able to use this late keyword, which allows you to initialize a variable with the object that you want to use at a later time. So this means you don't need to use the init state for you to access the this keyword. So what is this late keyword? So the late keyword is used when sometimes a field inside your object or class should be non-nullable, but can't be assigned the value right away, just like our animation. So for cases like this, we will use the late keyword. So this will tell Dart that, that you are going to assign it the field a value right away, and you are going to assign it later on, and you will make sure that it's assigned a value before it's accessed. Therefore, if you declare a field late and it's read before it has a value, you will have an error. So this is an example on how you can use the late keyword. So we have a class meal over here and a description field that is a string type. And the thing is, this description is being accessed before it's being initialized. Therefore, you have an error where it says the non-nullable instance description must be initialized. So therefore, we will have to add the late keyword over here. And this will tell us that we are going to access this description field later on after it is being initialized. And now we are able to use it inside our simple code block. Therefore, this late keyword can be used with final as well. Because once it's initialized, it is read only and you are unable to update this, for example, controller or offset animation. The next Flutter 2.0 update you should know is detecting large images. When adding images in our Flutter app, we may not know if it's too big. Even though bigger picture gives better quality, it takes up a lot more space. Therefore, how do you detect large images in your app? So inside your dev tools, there is this button on the top right hand corner, which looks like an image. If you were to hover over it, there is this pop-up that says enable invert oversized images. And now if you were to click on it, what happened was our image in the app has been inverted both vertically and also has been inverted in its color. And also inside our debugger console, there is an error that says that our big rocket person image has a display size of this much, but it is decoded this size, which uses an additional of this much, which is three megabytes or 3407 kilobytes. So that's pretty big for an image. Therefore, we need to use a smaller size image. So if you don't have one, you can manually reduce it or you can ask your designer to help you reduce the size for you. And now if you were to change your image to a smaller size and if you were to click on enable invert oversized image, you could see that our image stays the same because our image has now been reduced 
to not an oversized image. Therefore, this reduces the size of your app, which also will increase the amount of people downloading the app due to the small size. Finally, the third Flutter 2.0 update is the custom type dev. So this update did not release at the same time where Flutter 2.0 was announced. It was just a small section on what's next for the Dart language. And one of it is aliases, which gives the type definition not only to functions, but to other types. So for example, if you want to create an integer list type definition, you can assign it as such. And now good news, it has been pushed to the master branch of Flutter. And the master branch is the channel of Flutter that has the latest technology, but also have the highest amount of bugs as this is where a lot of things are moving and being fixed. So in order for you to use this type aliases in your Flutter project, you need to be inside the master Flutter channel and also to have your environment SDK under your pubspec.yaml file to be 2.13. So I believe the most common one that you use for Firebase and Flutter is this stream of list of query document snapshot. This is used when you want to get all of the documents inside a certain collection and then you probably map it to just get the docs or query document snapshot and this will usually return you a stream of list of query document snapshot and this can be a huge type where you need to add it into whether it is a stream provider or a stream builder and then having a type definition can help you make the type much more concise and also more streamlined get it streamlined so that's one thing that's going to be available in the upcoming flutter channel stable in summary the flutter 2.0 updates that you should know as a flutter developer is the late keyword detecting large images and lastly the custom type definition that's about it if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want more of this video subscribe down below and comment down if you have any Flutter 2.0 updates or updates after that that you think we should know as Flutter developers. So stay safe and all the best. Bye bye.